This time I'm really screwed. My head is throbbing. My nose is broken. And unless a miracle happens, I'm soon going to be ripped into thousands of pieces. It's hard to believe that everything started out so easy. Two weeks ago, an art collector from South Africa offered me a ridiculous amount of money to find a long-lost artifact and return it to him. I developed a somewhat dubious reputation in the art trade. Preston Sterling, hunter of rare artifacts. Rumor had it that if the price was right, I would dive down to even the deepest of wrecks or climb the highest peaks in order to meet the demands of my clients. My first task in my current job was simply to travel to the southwest of England, to Glastonbury Abbey to be precise. But the billionaire Vincent Omega wanted nothing less than for me to find Excalibur, the legendary sword of King Arthur. Treasure hunters have been searching for this artifact for centuries, but have yet to be successful. My client, however, had discovered an extremely promising lead. The tomb of the king had been found on the site of the old abbey many years before, and rumor had it that the abbey's archive was home to a number of well-kept secrets. Oh crap. A simple door would have been too easy, huh? There's a chain blocking the door. I hope the guards didn't hear anything. I'm in luck. The coast is clear. I probably shouldn't go any further. Well, well, well. This official version of the Chronicle actually leaves out a very interesting development. The truth is that the excavations in 1962 led to the discovery of an important artifact. The item discovered was some kind of will drawn up for King Arthur. But why is it being kept secret? It's time for me to get to the bottom of this question and thoroughly explore the archive. A solid steel door? If the secret archive isn't hidden behind it, I'll eat my hat.
Open sesame. Well, that's that job done. If the information provided by my client is right, this very archive contains clues that might lead me to Excalibur. It's a plan for the prayer times in the Abbey. Morning prayers are at 6 a.m., midday prayers are at 1 p.m., and even song is at 8 p.m. What a shame. There's no safe hidden behind the painting. I guess that would have been too good to be true. The painting depicts King Arthur and the Sword of Excalibur, Legend has it that Arthur was given the sword as a present by a fairy, the Lady of the Lake. There's a light bulb missing. Somebody's written a secret code on the painting. I need to find the right key. It's locked. It looks like the clock has stopped. It fits. Preston Sterling, you're an absolute genius! The safe still won't open. The safe only contained this round stone and this folder. This looks interesting. The text is written in Latin and is very faded, but I'm sure I can decipher it. In the year of our Lord, 1191, three brothers of our order discovered a tomb covered with a stone slab in the west of the old chapel. They were able to make out the following inscription on the slab. Here lies interred the famous King Arthur on the Isle of Avalon. Under the slab, they found the skeletons of a tall man and a woman. The man was holding a rune stone and a piece of leather containing an inscription allegedly written by the wizard Merlin. The writing on the leather stated that Merlin decided to go against the deceased king's request that the sword of Excalibur be returned to the Lady of the Lake. The wizard believed that the king would be healed in the kingdom of Avalon, 
and return at some point in time. He therefore wanted to temporarily bring the powerful weapon back to Arthur's birthplace so that Excalibur could be kept safely there until its owner returned. Wow. So the will found in the tomb wasn't written by Arthur, but was a message from his closest confidant, Merlin. According to the message, it wasn't one of the Knights of the Round Table who took Excalibur, as legend tells us, but actually Merlin himself who wanted to hide the sword. If I understand correctly, I now also know precisely where, at Tintagel Castle, the birthplace of King Arthur. Damn it, I've got to get out of here. My jeep isn't far away. I've got to shake off the guards first, though. Once I had shaken off the guards, I made my way directly to the county of Cornwall in the southwest of England. If the clues found in Arthur's tomb were right, Excalibur may well still be hidden among the ruins of Tintagel.